Hello, everybody. It's time to prime. What does it mean to prime? Priming is a very special process that we do to things that we're going to paint. If we were going to paint a piece of furniture, we would have to prime it with a special paint first. If we were going to paint a car, we would have to prime it with a special paint first. Each one of you has a big circle and inside the circle is what we call raw canvas. And we're gonna be making a beautiful painting on this, but before we can do that, you got it, we've got to prime it. We are using a special kind of primer made just for canvas called gesso. I think priming canvas is kind of fun. You just take some gesso and brush it on, cover the whole canvas. If you look really close at the canvas, you'll notice before we prime it, there's lots of holes in the weave. Like you could see where the paint might seep right through there. But after we prime it, all of the holes have been sealed and it makes an amazing surface to paint on. You should work right in your box so you don't get gesso on any kind of surface. You wanna keep any extra paint or gesso or primer in the box and be sure to wash out your brush really good and you could save your brush and use it on another project later. Go ahead and cover up that gesso in case you find a spot you wanna cover up later. And then we're just going to let it dry. You can close the box and let it dry. Once it's bone dry, you can feel it. It's like stiffened up. This is gonna be an awesome thing to paint on. Now, once it's done, we're just gonna go ahead. I just have some black acrylic paint. I'm gonna use the smaller brush and I'm gonna paint the frame, the outside of my circle canvas. And there I go. I'm just gonna start painting it back and forth. Get lots of fresh dips when your paint runs out. And it does not have to be perfect. If you make a mistake and get some black on the top where we have gessoed our canvas, it's no big deal at all. Next box, I'm gonna pass out so many fun colors and we're gonna be doing a beautiful painting on the top. So you'll have a chance to cover up any mistakes later. Make sure you rinse out those brushes and save them. You can use brushes over and over again if you take good care of them. Okay, so let me just show you what this all looks like when I'm done. I should have the whole front covered in a thick layer of gesso ready to paint. And my entire wood frame is painted in black. This is an important part of being an artist is preparing your surface for your project. Okay, see you next time. Bye.